Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back. Yes, okay, today is a life update, all right? And we are interrupting the regular scheduled programming. Yeah, because I wanted to share the news with you. I wanted to share the news. Um, so, I'm gonna try to work on this page right now while I'm talking to you guys. Okay, so I hope you're doing well. Yes, I do. And um, let me see here. Oh, of course, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and you will get notified, um, you know, every time a new video comes out. Okay, so, oh guys, I just had to share. I just had to come in here and share this with you. Um, and it has to do with this, back to school. Okay, back to school. Oh my word, okay? You know how like they say that things come in threes, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, let me just tell you, this morning, well, it really started yesterday, but this morning um, started out really crappy. And I mean that in every sense of the word or the term. Why, you ask? Because we had to have our septic tank pumped, okay? <laughs> That was number one of three, by the way, okay? And the good part about that, okay, I've got to find a toilet. I have a toilet somewhere in here, but um, it's for another page, honestly. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, the, okay, so that was number one of three, all right? I think, let me think, yeah, one of three. So far, so far, so far, so good. So anyway, yeah, we had to have our septic tape pump this morning because, um, yeah, it needed pumping, obviously. And so, um, we, this, I'm actually doing this page, just by the way, I'm actually doing this page on today, which is the 11th, all right, so. Um, yeah, so at any rate, so this morning we knew something had been wrong with our plumbing and it was like, oh my gosh. And so we called the guys out and, um, and they came and pumped our septic tank, right? And they were like, yeah, your filter was clogged again, you know, what a nightmare. But anyway, the good part about that is that our drain field is fine because we were so worried. We this we just had it pumped like a couple years ago. And um, believe it or not, when you live on a septic, here's your little lesson for today. I love lessons. Um, is, you know, if you live on a septic tank, your what ends up happening is because, you know, a lot of people obviously, especially these days, we're using a lot of antibacterial stuff. And what that does is kills the bacteria in the septic tank. So instead, and you need bacteria to eat all of, you know, whatever. Okay. You get where I'm going here? All right. So that was number one of three. Okay. Good things. All right. Yes. We had to have our septic tank pumped, <laughs> but the good news was that that's all that needed to be done. So I was happy about that. And then the second thing that happened, okay, this might take a little longer to explain. Okay. So yesterday, my sweet daughter, she started work this week, right? She started back to work. They're doing like some students are doing at home learning. Some students are doing in-class learning. It's up to the parents, you know, they have a choice, whatever. And, um, and so she called me like in the middle of the day and she said, basically long story short, mom, our teacher's assistant that we were gonna have this year, um, where's my rag, is not comfortable, you know, coming in because of the world events, you know, she's not comfortable being in the classroom. So we just lost our teacher's assistant. And so I was talking to, you know, our my co-teacher and, you know, I just mentioned that, you know, you've always wanted to come in and help, you know, would and so basically she like asked me if I would be interested in being their teacher's assistant this year. Okay, so can I just tell you folks it is a it is a full time position. However, I'll get to that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, people really like I was literally like making myself sick um, because <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Like I literally did not know what to do. I've spent so much 
time and hard work building this um, YouTube channel that I have. I thank you so much for being a part of it. It is so special to me and not much is going to change. Hang on for that. So I was like going back and forth, you know, like, I mean, I haven't worked in almost 25 years. Yeah, I haven't worked in almost 25 years, guys. Okay. Um, yeah. So let me just figure out how, where I'm putting this stuff. Okay. So yeah, so that was scary. I'm like, do I really want to work again? Do you know, making all these decisions or trying to, you know, figure it all out, you know? And so normally it is a full-time position. It is an hourly position. It is, um, <clears throat> you know, like, um, you know, all day, you know, it's like 7.30 to 3.30 or whatever, Monday through Friday. And I was like, how am I going to manage, you know, working full-time, which I know a lot of y'all do. And let me just tell you what props to y'all that do that and still maintain YouTube channels and put your videos out and do your crafting and all that kind of stuff. Um, yesterday I was quite overwhelmed. I mean, that is putting it very mildly. Okay. Like, I'm not kidding you. My stomach was in knots. I just didn't know what to do, you know, cause I didn't want to, you know, say no, I didn't want to say yes. I didn't want to disappoint my daughter. I didn't want, you know, perhaps for my decision to reflect poorly on her, you know, just all that stuff. Right. And, um, so it was just a nightmare, you know, I mean, I had, it was hard to go to sleep. It was, you know, hard to, let me scooch this over, scooch over, scooch over a little bit. Okay. It was just, yeah, you know, my daughter came home from work and I was talking to her about it. My husband was like really bad off yesterday, health wise. I'm talking like really bad off. Okay. Uh, like near ER visits. So of course that was on my mind all day and very stressful in and of itself. Anyway, so she came home, we talked about it and I told her, you know, with your dad and his health and you know, with me and, and my YouTube channel and, you know, it's very important to me, you know, and I'm not willing to give up my YouTube channel. I'm just not willing to do that. Although I would love to, you know, help you if I can, you know, and, um, so I wrestled with it. Uh, let me just tell you all night. Okay. Wrestled with it all night. So then this morning, right, I went on my walk, I was relaxing, trying to relax on my walk, and, um, and I was thinking about it, I prayed about it last night, um, you know, I was just like, Lord, just give me a sign, like, I don't know, you know, like, I just don't know what to do, I really don't, and so then, um, my husband really wasn't able to discuss things rationally yesterday. <laughs> so, um, or coherently for that matter. So, um, you know, I talked to him about it a little bit this morning and, you know, my daughter yesterday had told the ladies at work, you know, yes, my mom's interested, but you know, she needs to talk to my dad and you know, whatever. And they know all about his health issues and, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, they know that there might be an occasion where I can't work one day because I have to take him to the hospital for testing or, or whatever, which is coming up next week, I think. Anyway, and so, um, so what was it? It was, um, I want to put this on here. This I got from Sweet Deidre. It says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures. Oh my gosh, this is so great for today. So this is definitely going here. Um, and yeah, okay, so, and I'm going to put this pocket right here because look at how those colors just go perfectly, right? And I've been cleaning all day. I'm going to get back to what I was saying. I've been cleaning all day so far because we're having, hopefully we're having, um, my husband's cousins are supposed to be coming into town tomorrow. Yay. Definitely. I do believe definitely one of them is coming and hopefully his wife is coming because I love her and I want to spend time with her. At any rate, what was I saying? Yeah, so she, you know, my daughter told the school this pocket I got from um, Sweet uh, Nicole. 
So, you know, I was just wrestling with it, wrestling with it. So this morning I went out on my walk, which I need a shoe. Um, I went out on my walk and also need that. And um, is this where they are? No. So I went out on my walk. Okay, so when I got home, my husband, my sweet husband, told me, okay, I need my little walk-in shoe too. We'll put this, maybe we'll put this down here. Like so. Okay, let's, maybe we'll put it like that. Okay, so um, yeah, came home, right? And my husband was like, I had started cleaning windows and stuff like that. And my husband said, you know, honey, while you were gone on your walk, I was thinking about, you know, the job and everything. And, um, and he said, what if, you know, all you can do is ask, you know, and, um, he said, but what if you can go in there sort of like part time, you know, like what if they'll allow you just to go in there until like one, you know, from like, I don't know when they start eight o'clock, I think. So like, what if you can just go in there from like eight to one and work, you know, would that work for them? And you go in five days a week, that way you get home. I mean, literally the school is like 15 minutes from my house. So he was like, then you get home, you got a couple, three hours to work on your YouTube stuff, get your videos up and, you know, continue with that. He said, so, you know, maybe ask our daughter, you know, if, that's a possibility, you know, and if it is, then you know, you know, and um, because he had also said too, he's like, honey, how many times have you told me since Beauty Queen has been teaching that you would love to be able to work with her in her classroom, which I have, I have, um, and he was like, and now you have the opportunity, you know, and um, I just, my whole thing was like, I don't want a full-time job. You know what I mean? Like, I, because like I said, my, this channel right here and you folks, you folks out there are very important to me. And this is like, yeah, this is a very important part of my life doing this YouTube. And so he was like, so just, you know, ask her and, and see, you know. So before she went to work today, I told her, you know, basically that. And I said, you know, um, this is my, this is what I can work, you know? So I would love to be able to help you and your co-teacher um, in the classroom. I love going in there and helping them every year at the beginning of the year. And I said, you know, so the, these are the hours I can work, you know? And if they accept it, great. And if they don't, that that's okay too, you know? So she said, okay, well, you know, I'll ask and I'll see what they say, you know? So that was number, well, we're getting to number two. So yeah, so then she called me when she got to work. She said, I talked to so-and-so and such and such, and they said that that'll work out. That'll work for them. And so my, um, I mean, I still have to go in and sign paperwork and all that stuff tomorrow, but so my schedule, Hopefully, um, this is what I told them my schedule was going to be was Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I'll work till one and then Tuesday and Thursday, I'll work all day. And she said, you know, the Tuesday and Thursday, she was, she didn't know at first when I told her that schedule, she was like, well, I don't know if that's going to work out with our schedule, you know? And I said, well, if it works out great and if it doesn't, then I know, you know, that this isn't something that I was supposed to do. And so... She, when she called and she said, yep, they said that, you know, that sounds great and come in and fill out the paperwork tomorrow. And, um, and I said, well, what about your schedule? And she said, well, she said, um, my co-teacher, because the, her co-teacher can't, um, like physically take the kids out to recess or whatever. And so, you know, my daughter was telling me, oh, you'd have to take Mrs. So-and-so's class out to recess because she can't physically do it. And so I was like, oh yeah, I don't have any problem with that. And, um, and so, um, it just so happens that Mrs. So-and-so's, um, recess is on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Hmm? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that was number two. Okay. That was number two. <laughs> and then 
my husband, unfortunately, has to go in and have um, an ultrasound done, right? And so, you know, it's kind of, of an urgent matter, uh, somewhat of an urgent matter. And so, you know, I was kind of dreading making that phone call to schedule it, and I was just like, you know, goodness knows it'll probably not be until like September, October. And, you know, like I said, it's kind of rather an urgent matter. Um, every, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully everything will be fine. But, um, yeah, he, he just needs to get into, to do that right quick. And, um, and so I was on the phone with them and, you know, told her which hospital we needed to go to and all that. And she was like, well, how about um, this week? And I said, oh, well, you know, I said, I'm not sure if this week is gonna work, you know, because we have, like, I've gotta go in and sign up for this new job that I just agreed to. And um, we have people coming into town, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Even though it is an urgent matter, you know, um, we could have waited until next week. It would, would have been fine too, you know, but, and I said, and then my husband was right there with me. He was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what, you know, which day this week? And so, plus, like, this week is so full anyway. It's like, you know, of course, me now and my new job, um, which I don't start until Monday coming up. Um, and then, like, my my son has blood work, I think, this week. He has an oncology appointment this week. My husband has a, an appointment with his pain doctor this week. It's like, oh, uh, it's a crazy week, let me tell you what, okay? But... So anyway, I was on the phone with the scheduler and she's, and I said, well, what, you know, what day and time this week, you know, she's like, well, we have tomorrow at seven. And I was like, seven in the morning. And she was like, yeah, I was like, perfect. That is perfect. Okay. Oh my word. You guys, life is looking up. I can tell you, I can tell you right now. Okay. So let's put the date on here, shall we? Um, what is today even? I'm like super excited, okay? I'm super excited. Yesterday, I was about ready to toss my cookies, which seriously nearly happened because I was just so, so nervous about like, no, what's today? The 11th. I was so nervous about, you know, agreeing to work again. And uh, like I said, you know, like I have not worked, um, like a regular job, you know, I've taught and everything for the last 20 some years, but I haven't work worked in, um, yeah, in almost 25 years. So I'm, I am super excited. I really am. Um, and there have been so many times over the last three years, you know, that my daughter and I both have been like, oh, wouldn't it be fun to, you know, if I was your teacher's assistant, like that would be so great, you know? And then my husband mentioned something this morning, which was um, really sweet. He was like, you know, honey, he said that really says a lot for, you know, our daughter. Um, and I was like, what do you mean? And he said, well, like that she would want her mom like to help her, you know, that she would even want me in the classroom with her, you know? And so, yeah, that's really special. That's really special to me. So life update, that's what's going on. Um, I do believe I will be starting a, uh, it's, it's over part-time. So it's like 31 hours a week, I think. So yeah, I'm starting on Monday. I can't believe it. Um, school starts the following Monday and I will be, you know, the person that helps out, you know, whatever they need. If they need me to take, uh, well, the kids aren't going anywhere. The, all the specials are going to be in class. No parents are allowed to come in or out of the classroom. Um, very limited access, all that kind of stuff, taking all precautions. Um, yeah, so... Um, what does that mean for this YouTube channel? Well, I am still going to be putting up videos because I love putting up videos. You know that. And I love our little group here. And I have so much love in my heart for each and every one of you. And YouTube, like I said, is a very important part of my life. So what changes are coming? Um, 
I will still do the ramble sessions. Uh, I will, however, I will film them on Sunday to be put up on Monday. And then I will probably reduce my video load from five days a week to about three days a week. So I don't really want to put set that in stone because if I, you know, get into the groove of working again and all that kind of stuff, then I want to be able to like have the freedom to, um, you know, decide that, oh yeah, I can put out a third video or yeah, I can go ahead and do four or five or whatever, you know, so I'm, there's, I'm not going to pin myself down to a particular schedule. I just want to let you guys know that the videos are going to be reduced um, from five days a week to um, like three days a week, probably. And then we'll just go from there, you know, we'll go from there. But yeah, other than that, nothing else is changing. You know, I'm still going to be working in my creative daily journal. I'm still going to be filming videos. I'm still going to be working in my glue book. I'm still going to have, of course, a messy desk to clean up with y'all and all that kind of stuff. So let's just put our date on here because I'm, while I'm yakking, what is today? Oh gosh, I think today's Tuesday. Oh, you know what I never mentioned? Squirrel is okay yeah today's tuesday because tomorrow our guests are coming and um i know they're coming on wednesday so this is what i'm doing today cleaning going back to school oh you know what i wanted to do let me see where i have those okay i wanted to use some of let me let me see here yeah yeah yes okay these right here okay um, anyway, you know what I forgot to mention? Please forgive me, Brooke, if you're watching this. Um, I totally forgot to mention that my sweet brooke rooney put telephones on here for me. I think they were for me. <laughs> because I call my grandmother every Monday morning. So, yeah. Oh, that's so special, right? I can't wait to use those on a Monday page. So, here. We're putting this right here. Back to school, question mark, question mark. Oh my gosh, guys. I mean, aside from homeschooling and teach, whoa, crap. Come on now, work with me. Okay, besides teaching in, in the homeschool co-op, I haven't been in a classroom, <laughs> holy cow, in 25 years, like quite literally. Is that crazy or what? But I'm so excited. I really am excited. And I'm just, I'm so blessed that, you know, like my husband was saying, you know, that my daughter, you know, actually wants me to be in her, in her um, classroom. Like, that's just so exciting to me, you know? I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, anyway. So today you get, oh, poop, you get a bonus video because another video, a magazine harvesting video came out this morning, I'm trying to get that little square off. Okay, get on there. So yeah, today is a bonus video. I wanted to do just a really quick life update with you guys. And yeah, we're going to put this in here with some tape. I do believe so let's do that right now shall we um what kind of tape I know this is going on forever but let me just tell you folks I'm excited okay I'm excited um and I cannot wait till my daughter gets home so that I can express to her just how excited I am I did text her and tell her that I was excited well like I was getting excited you know what I mean but now that it's like really sunk in like I'm super excited and not only that, that just that it worked out, you know, the way that I had hoped it would work out because, you know, like I said, y'all are really important to me. This uh, YouTube channel is very important to me and, um, yeah, I want to still be able to do the thing that I love doing and then also, you know, helping out in the classroom, which is something that is very near and dear to my heart. So there you have it. Okay. I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed. I have most of my page done now. <laughs> I'm just going to do like a, a, t uh, like a, what's it called? A tag. 
come on, come on, Elizabeth. I'm getting too excited. So yeah, um, I wanted to, um, I have to get a tag for right here to write all my journaling in. Yep, and there's that, okay? There is that, so. I'll fill all this stuff in later, do my tag later, but yeah, back to school, question mark? I think so. And then I'm doing a bunch of cleaning because we're having guests tomorrow. They're coming in real late at night. So yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed on what's been going on, and yeah, I apparently will be starting work next week with my sweet daughter, and I'm excited. I'm very excited, so. Just to recap shortly, you know, for a, a tiny few more seconds, indulge me. Um, here on YouTube, the only thing that's going to be changing is that uh, the frequency of videos. That's it. Instead of my videos coming out five days a week, they're going to be reduced to about three days a week. Um, and we'll see, you know, we'll go from there. But I'm, I do believe that I'm still going to have time to work on all my stuff and still, you know, keep going with my YouTube channel, which I'm super excited about. So, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. You guys get two videos in one day. Yep. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I appreciate it. I just wanted to share that exciting news with you. And, yeah, I hope y'all are having a great day. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you. I hope that wasn't totally out of frame. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.